the Boston Bruins took care of business in a Saturday afternoon matinee in New Jersey, beating the Devils by a score of 5-2. to two. They will be back in action on Sunday night against the Montreal Canadiens. This is Ian McLaren, your locked-on Boston Bruins host, sneaking in a little mid-weekend episode bonus content for you here just to break down what happened today and look ahead at tomorrow's game. Uh, the Bruins entered this one at, coming off uh, a disappointing loss to the Edmonton Oilers the other night. Uh, Eric Halla got the Bruins on the board with his first in black and gold. And then Brad Mershan scored twice for the Bruins in the 5-2 win. Uh, Patrice Bergeron added a goal and an assist. Charlie McAvoy had three assists and Jeremy Swayman made 27 saves for a Bruins team that improves to 7-5-0 and on the season. And looking to build on that ahead of tomorrow night's game against the Montreal Canadiens before a five-day break in the schedule. Uh, yet another big uh, gap, which is just inexplicable, really. Uh, Marchand said he and his line mates push each other constantly. Even this afternoon, they had a pretty good game, but there's still times where uh, they were getting on each other for needing to be better in situations. They have a lot of fun out there. Their chemistry has come a long way where they can kind of read off each other, but they're not light on each other either. Uh, Marchand said he loves that they can hold each other to a high accountability, and every night they expect to be good. Uh, like I said, Halla gave the Bruins a 1-0 lead with his first goal of the season at 17-37 of the first period. Uh, he jumped on a rebound uh, off an Anton bleed shot uh, on a nice setup from Carson Kuhlman. <laughs> I, uh, I guess, am uh, known on Twitter to call out Kuhlman and Bleed uh, to a certain extent. And then uh, they come back, especially Kuhlman, and do something positive shortly thereafter. It happened again today. Uh, again, I don't know if these two guys are long-term solutions, although Kuhlman has been uh, fairly good this season. Uh, but they were certainly instrumental in setting up this first goal. The other night, the Bruins scored allowed Edmonton to uh, tie the game up very quickly on two occasions. This time, Mershan scored a power play goal uh, on a snapshot from the point at 4-10 of the second period to give the Bruins a 2-0 lead. Uh, Lindy Ruff, the head coach of the New Jersey Devils, said he has a lot of respect for the way that Marshan, Bergeron, and Pasternak play. Uh, they're the typical guys you wish you had on your team. Uh, we know that to win, you've got to do your part and make sure you limit them, which they were not able to do. Uh, before we move on, just a quick word about Bet Online. They're back and better than ever. They have a new web interface for the start of the basketball season. More props, odds, and lines than ever before. Uh, head to their new updated desktop or mobile website to sign up today and receive a 50% welcome bonus on your first deposit. Use promo code LOCKEDON to receive that bonus. Perfect for tomorrow's. Uh, football action bet online the fastest and easiest way to bet on all your favorite sports jeremy swayman uh he like i said was pretty strong in this one he uh made what was it 27 saves he said it's the best feeling ever when you can do your part and see uh guys doing theirs great feeling and obviously brings momentum in our side so really happy with that uh good for martian he had a great game swayman said uh, Linus Allmark will likely get the start in the second half of the back-to-back -back tomorrow night back at home against the Montreal Canadiens, uh, but good on Swayman for standing tall and making some important saves today to get the win. Um, what else is notable from this one? Jake DeBrusque scored the empty net goal at 19.06 of the third period for uh, the fifth goal to make it 5-2. I thought it was interesting that Bruce Cassidy deployed DeBrusque with the uh, extra attacker out for the Devils. Uh, I think it's notable that there was a two-goal lead, not a one-goal lead. That's part of the reason why he put him out there, but it paid off as he uh, gathered the puck and shoot up, shot it from center ice to get the uh, empty netter his third of the season. Hopefully that gives him some confidence moving forward. Not that he... He played terrible today. He actually made a pretty good defensive effort. Uh, I think it was in the second or third period. Uh, and 
Um, yeah, just trying to get that offense going and for Bruce Cassidy to show DeBrusque, but he does trust him in those uh, situations. He's also been killing some penalties as, as well. Uh, it was Marchand's 50th multi-goal game, tying Patrice Bergeron for the fifth most in Bruins history. Neither probably likely, likely to catch Phil Esposito, who has 104. Uh, in terms of injuries, it looks like the Bruins escaped relatively unscathed. And, uh, you know, Bruce Cassidy is generally reluctant to change the lineup heading uh, into a game after a win. He did decide to bench Mike Riley and uh, Craig Smith in this one, although Riley, I believe, is dealing with some sort of injury. But Craig Smith, the odd man out in favor of Carson Kuhlman on the third line. Uh, Kuhlman had the assists, uh, one assist, sorry, two shots on goal with in about 10 minutes of ice time, 10 and a half minutes. Uh, Anton Bleed got the start on the fourth line, although they, they kind of crossed hairs and uh, got the two assists there. On the defensive side, Jacobs Borrell came in for Riley and played very strong. I thought 15 minutes and 56 seconds. Uh, he had three shots, two hits, three blocks, and I thought he earned another look on the blue line, and he probably will get in there if indeed um, Mike Riley can't go again. But we'll see if Smith, uh, perhaps he's dealing with some residual effects from an injury that sidelined him earlier, or maybe he just needed the night off. Uh, we'll see if he gets back in there against Montreal on Sunday. The Canadians do play uh, here on Saturday night as well. Uh, they are in Detroit, so they'll have to uh, travel after this one. The Bruins, I imagine, are comfortably back at home now, resting up for uh, tomorrow night's game. Uh, the Canadians will have uh, some travel to do after this one. Obviously not a, a long flight from Detroit to Boston. Uh, but, uh, yeah, they will have a little less rest than our Bruins. It's the first time that they've played in, in quite some time, obviously. The Canadians heading into tonight's game against Detroit uh, find themselves uh, way down in the Atlantic Division standings, a record of 4-10-1, 300-point percentage, a minus 18 goal differential, which is worst in the Eastern Conference. So uh, they'll definitely be ripe for the taking tomorrow night anyway it's just a quick bonus episode here for you to recap the bruins win over the devils look ahead to uh, mon or sorry sunday's game against the montreal canadians wanted to get that in there instead of having to talk about two games on monday uh, please do subscribe to locked on boston bruins on your podcast feed and on youtube and on monday we'll be back to talk about hopefully a uh, Boston Bruins win over the Montreal Canadiens on Sunday night at the Garden, 7 p.m. It's going to be a good one. Follow Locked NHL Bruins for all the latest lineup news heading into that one. And you can follow at ENC McLaren for my hockey tweets and dad jokes. Have a great Saturday night, friends, and we'll talk to you again on Monday on Locked On Boston Bruins, part of the Locked On Podcast Network.